Queen City News, your local election headquarters and two candidates in Cabarrus County claim the county GOP unfairly influenced the race in favor of their opponents. But their protest to the county elections board was denied. So now they're taking their appeal to the state board. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell is with us tonight with the details of the complaint. So Savannah, how is the county elections board responding to all of this? Well, candidates submitted to 40 page protest forms to the Cabarrus County Elections Board just pretty soon after this month's Republican primary. The candidates say they may have only lost because of a broken election law, but elections officials are not convinced. And understate that the same misconduct. You know, it's just it's it's deceiving the voters. It's not right. Republican Holly Edwards ran in the primary for District 73 state representative. A conservative group called We the People endorsed her opponent, but Edwards says they misrepresented themselves as part of the official Cabarrus County GOP when they made that endorsement. That had said that this was We the People, and these are just the people we uh, support. We don't support the others. Then that's fine. You know, there is really nothing wrong with that. Um, but when you try to when you try to portray that, that it's it's candidates that's being endorsed by the actual GOP, which I am a part of, I do have a problem with that. Edwards sent us a copy of this flyer. She says we the people designed it to look very similar to the yellow sheet that Cabarrus County GOP puts out during general elections. That led Edwards and another candidate, Kevin Crutchfield, to file a protest with the county elections board. But board members unanimously dismissed those protests Monday afternoon. Could a reasonable person say that there could have been misconduct or an irregularity, and the board found that there was not probable cause. Board Director Carol Soles says Edwards claims the flyers were illegally taped up inside voting booths at one of the precincts. I asked her who it was that the person spoke to. She said it was the person at the tabulator, so I called the chief judge back. She had four people working at the tabulator that day. She spoke to all four of them and they never found anything. Edwards presented the board with 26 letters from voters saying they felt deceived or intimidated by We the People. She'll now appeal to the North Carolina State Elections Board. Her opponent, who won by more than 500 votes, says he's already looking past the issue. Staying forward focused on November, that's our that's our goal right now. Um, so that's really all we're, all we're thinking about. Um, now that we have this ruling. I love when someone comes into my office and says, tell, tell me about election fraud, tell me about being attached to the internet and I love to go through all the things about our testing and all the steps we take, all the training, all our precinct officials. So I really look at that as a challenge. We reached out to We the People and to Kevin Crutchfield, but did not hear back today. The Cabarrus County GOP chairman did send us a statement saying in part that they're grateful for the unanimous decision of the Board of Elections and are already looking forward to November.